Hey there, Mel Abraham here from Thoughtpreneur Academy. And in this video, we're gonna talk about, do you have the right positioning? So stay tuned. It's really simple. The top people in your niche and the people you follow online all have one thing in common. And it's that one thing that allows them to sell and do it effortlessly. In fact, when you have the proper positioning, you don't need a tricky sales funnel, tactics, or have to struggle to bring in sales. When it's dialed in, you're top of mind. You're top of mind anytime someone talks about you and what you do or your topic, which means consistent word of the mouth referrals. Referrals you don't even have to work for. You have consistent leads, you have growth, in your following each and every day. And you have people that want to buy from you before they even know what it is you offer. Do you have this going on in your business now? Do you have any of this in your business? Or are you the invisible entrepreneur? The one who's putting out content consistently, but also constantly struggling to bring in sales, to bring in leads, and suffering because no one knows what you do and they just don't seem to listen. You're lost in a sea of noise. And if that's you, I hope you realize it's only gonna get worse. Instead of focusing on content that forces you to blend in and get lost, you need to focus on content that is so distinct and unique, it forces people to draw their attention to you because you're causing shifts. You're causing an impact and you are full of purpose. This type of content is the secret to thought leadership. Yes, it's the stuff hardly anyone focuses on. Maybe that's because most people never reach the level they want. But that doesn't have to be you. You can focus on creating your own unique IP, your own frameworks, and your own unique content, starting with distinction. So let's break this down in a process for you, and how do you use distinction to position you and your content at the top of the niche in a way that pulls in your audience. So one of the first things that we need to understand is that in order to be distinct, in order to be distinct, we need to have what I call the three uniques. And when we look at this, the three uniques are, are all about first understanding what your unique genius is. Okay, What is it that you know that no one else knows, or that you know it in a way that no one else knows it. What is it about you that's your unique DNA, just like a fingerprint, your unique fingerprint that is your brilliance that no one else is duplicating? So understanding first, your unique genius. Second is understanding the unique problem that you get to solve, and understanding what is it that problem is. You can't solve every problem, so you're there to solve a specific problem. That's what you're gonna get known for. Thought leaders and influencers get known for what they know because what they know makes a difference to people. And then you have, you have a unique solution to that problem. So the question then is, if you have the three uniques, what's your unique genius? What's the unique problem you solve? And what is that unique solution? The next piece is, how do you attach it to the marketplace? In other words, how do we reach them? And, and this is a, a, a model that I was taught by a good friend of mine talking more, but it, it is amazing when you connect it to the marketplace. And it's something that we call the four forces. And what we're really looking at is now you understand how you're unique. Let's look at your marketplace and figure out how to bridge that. Because your market is dealing with four Forces, four things that are driving them to make the decision to follow you, to buy from you, to talk about you, and to champion you. And the four forces are all about what they are dealing with immediately, right now, which is in the immediate time, they're dealing with, with frustrations. What are the frustrations that they currently have that keep them up at night, that are, they're struggling? Is it cash flow? Is it health? Is it wellness? Is it relationships? What is it immediately that they're they're dealing with, but also they're dealing with something out in the future. If those frustrations aren't solved, what are the fears that are really eating at them inside? A lot of times they don't even talk about it because it really scares the heck out of them. But then on the other side of that, they're also dealing with the positive side. 
they have a set of wants. What is it that they desire here and now in this moment that they want to get out of their life, their business, their world that you can provide them? See, if we can take away the frustrations and we can give them the wants, we can serve them right here and now. But they also have this big dream. They have this big vision, this thing that we call aspiration. And so the four forces of, is all about understanding your marketplace and where they are with their frustrations now, their fears in the future, their wants now, and their aspirations in the future. And when you're successful in bridging across from your three uniques to their four forces, that's when things will shift completely. You will stand out. You will be seen as the authority on the topic. You'll get results from and it'll be the results they're searching for. So here's the deal. Without distinction and reach, you're gonna blend in with everyone else. And that's primarily due to market saturation. And the fact is, is that you may even be suffering with it right now and you don't even realize it. So in order to help you with this, so you can finally become the difference maker that you wanna be, the difference maker in your industry, your business, and your community that you deserve to be, I'm actually doing a free training where we're gonna go deep dive into my legacy maker formula. We're gonna talk about what it takes to become a difference maker, to get your message out in the world in a big way, to go out there and make a difference but stand out as the authority, not an authority, but the person to go to on that topic area and make a difference. So look for the link around this video, click it, and I'll see you in the training. It's really simple. The top people in your niche and all the people you follow have one thing in common. Do it again. That wasn't the end. Who writes long run on sentences sometimes? <laughs>